what we're doing this week is we're just trying to see which decimals are bigger and which ones are smaller. The good thing is, since we've worked with decimals before, this isn't too difficult. It's nothing very, very new from what we've done before, which is really good. For problem A, they give us two models. Here's the first one, here's the second one. And they want us to tell them which one is bigger, which one is smaller. I'm going to start with this model here, the first one. If I look for problem A, this first model is completely shaded in. So that's one hole. The next model is not shaded in all the way. It's got pieces missing. So that's my, that's my decimal there. If I count all the pieces that they shaded in, remember I can, I can kind of do a trick here. I can count them one by one, but if I remember each of these lines has 10 pieces. So if they shade in the whole line, I know it's 10. So here's 10, 20, 30, 40. Now this one I can't count a whole line, but it's just 41. So 1.41. Okay. Now I check the second model. Second model also has one whole model shaded in. There's one hole. Second model is also missing some pieces. I'm going to put a decimal. I'm going to count how many pieces they have. Again, I can kind of take that little shortcut. I know that when they shade in one whole line, that's 10 pieces. So here's 10, 20, 30, 40. Now this one I can't count the whole line, but now I have to count the little pieces. 41, 42, 43, 44. 1.44. Now that I have the numbers, I want to go ahead and put them in my place value chart. They were really nice. They already made a place value chart for me. And it's got enough room to put my two numbers in. So I'm going to put my first number, 1.41, and my second number, 1.44. We've worked on comparing numbers before, seeing which numbers are bigger and which ones are smaller. The last time we worked on them, I told you, the thing that helps you out the most is instead of looking at all of the numbers all together, because if you look at everything all together, it can make it a lot more difficult, is to just use your hand and cover up some of the numbers and look at it piece by piece. We're going to do the exact same thing here. Before, when we were comparing numbers, we were comparing very, very big numbers, numbers that were in the thousands or the millions or the billions. These numbers are much smaller, so I can't use my commas to break it into pieces, but I can use my decimals. So what I'm going to do, whenever you compare numbers, you always start with the biggest place value. In our case, that's the ones place. I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to cover up my decimals. I've got the number one and the number one. There's no way I can tell which one is bigger because both of them are the number one. One is the same as one. But if I look at my decimals now, we have 41 and 44. 
here I can see a difference. 41 and 44. 44 is bigger than 41. So I know that my first number, I'm going to put an S, is my small number. And my second number, I'm going to put a B, because that's my big number. Now we had talked before about the symbol that shows which number is bigger, which number is smaller. So we had talked before about the symbols that they use. You remember? They look very similar, but it's important that we don't get them confused. Like I told you the last time we worked with them, it's up to you how you want to remember them. You can remember them by thinking of like crocodiles and alligators. So if you're going to do that, I would recommend that when you have one, you kind of draw little teeth for it. Remember the crocodile or the alligator always wants to bite, always wants to eat the bigger one. Or you could think of it like the way I usually think of it. Honestly, I use like a Pac-Man. So if I draw a circle around it, I can see my little Pac-Man. Pac-Man's always going to try to eat the bigger one. The other way you can think about it, okay, like I said, Nikai, you're going to go ahead, find your new math packet. Inside, find a packet like this. It says concepts. If you look inside of that, these are the papers you want. It says week one. So that's what we're working on. Now the other way, the third way, okay. this one, you can use it. I don't know why, it just I never wanted to. You can think about it like it's pointing. I mean, it is kind of shaped like an arrow here. If you think about it like an arrow, it's always going to point at the smaller one. Like I said, I don't know why, but to me, I like to think about it like Pac-Man. So if I want my symbol to be facing the right way, I need to make sure it's trying to eat my big number. So the symbol is going to look just like that. And on my line, I can write 1.41. 1 That's my first number. Is, we found out that was smaller. So smaller than 1.44. And I can write the same thing here. 1.41 1 is less than, and I'm going to use the same symbol. I'm just copying it over. 1.44. So the good thing is this week, since we've talked about comparing numbers before, since we've talked about decimals before, there's not really a lot of new stuff the same thing we've done before. It just looks a little bit different because now it has decimals instead of big numbers, like in the millions and the thousands and the billions. We're going to do the same thing on the next one. We're going to compare these two decimals. We're going to see if we can figure out which one is the bigger decimal. They started off by giving me my models, but one thing I will always tell you, especially with numbers or like with decimals like this, when you see the model, 
always label it with the numbers. Never, 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 never. Just leave it like this. Always label it with your numbers. The reason why I tell you that is because if you just leave it with the pictures, sometimes you get up to go use the restroom and you come back and then you got to count them all over again because you don't remember what number this is. If you write it down, even if you have to go get up, use the restroom, or even if um, like sometimes we're working on math before lunch and then we go to lunch, we come back, we're still working on math. It doesn't matter how long you were away. If you write it down, it's there for you. It's not going to get up and walk away. It's not going to leave and you're not going to forget. You'll be able to just look at it and see. So this first one, we have one full model. I see that this model is missing some pieces. So I'm going to put my decimal. And this time, if I look, this model isn't cut into hundreds. There's not a hundred little pieces here. This one's cut into nths because there's only 10 pieces. So there is one, two, three, three tenths. Now I'm going to check out the second set of models they gave me. Again, they gave me one whole model that's shaded in. Second model is missing some pieces. I'm going to put my decimal. If I count how many pieces that they shaded in, we have, again, a whole line is 10, so 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. 1.23. Again, they were really nice to us. They already wrote the place value charts for us. All I have to do is put my numbers. 1 1.3, 1.23. Before I compare my numbers, I see that I have a problem here. I've got an empty space in my place value chart. What can I do that would fill up this empty space in my place value chart, but won't mess up my number? Brianna, what could I do to that empty spot? What could I do to this empty spot that won't mess up my number, but that will fill it up? I can put a zero. Very good, Brianna. If I put any other number, if I try to put a one or a two or a three or a four or a nine, if I put anything else, it would mess up my number because now it's a different decimal. The only one that can fill up the, that empty space and not mess up my number is a zero. Thank you, Brianna. Violet, Messiah, were you guys trying to answer the same question or did you have a different question? Oh, okay. Jadine, were you trying to answer the question too or did you have a different one? I have a different one. Oh, okay. What's up? What's your question? You're very correct. If this was cut into hundredths, this would be 30, right? Because it's the same thing yeah. as this one. It's just the pieces are bigger. Yeah. So that's a very good, uh, it's a very good thing that you noticed. And Messiah, were you going to answer the question that I asked Brianna or were you, did you have a different question of your own? Did 
I don't know if you had your hand up from before or if you have a new question. Don't know if you're trying to, to use your microphone, Masai. It still shows you as muted and I can't see your camera, so I don't know if you're talking. Oh, let's see. Microphone is on. Can I hear you? How badly will your computer fight with you today, Messiah? Who will win? Mm, sounds like it's the computer. I don't hear your voice. If you have a question, Messiah, do me a favor. Put it into our chat, okay? Just go ahead and type it out. Because for whatever reason, I don't know, you made your computer very angry. I don't know if you made a face at it or something, but it doesn't like letting me hear you. So once you have it lined up and like Brianna helped us with, we filled in that blank spot. Again, I'm going to use my hand. I'm going to start by looking at the biggest place value I have, the ones place. Whatever's in front of that decimal. If I cover it up, all I have are ones. There's no way to tell between a one and a one which number is bigger. I'm going to look after my decimals. I have 30 and 23. There I can see a difference. Who can tell me which number is bigger? 30? Or 23? Which one is bigger, Violet? 30 or 23? So 23 is bigger than 30? No. 30. 30 is the bigger number. So this one, I'm going to put a letter B. That's my big number. This one's I'm going to put a letter S, my small number. Oh, okay, Messiah. I'm glad. I thought you had a question. Okay, so I know which is my big number. I know which is my small number. I need to make sure I put the right symbol here. Again, I use Pac-Man to, to help me out. So Pac-Man needs to try to eat the big number. So it needs to be facing that way. I can fill in my sentence here. 1.3 is bigger than 1.23. For the last part, I'm just going to copy down my numbers. 1.3, 1.23, and I'm going to copy my symbol. Just like that. 